I need some pulleys for a project I've got coming up. I, I want to make an automatic opener for my barn that'll open the doors and let the animals out and then at night it'll close it back up. And so I needed some pulleys uh, to run the steel cable over and so I was looking at buying some and couldn't find exactly what I wanted and you know they're way more expensive than you would think especially when you're looking for something with a ball bearing in it like these. These are made out of one inch uh, by one eighth inch steel strap. This is a three eighths uh, chain link and I just used it because it was easy to weld in there and get that right spacing and also gave me the loop that I needed. Uh, it's just got a ball bearing up from a uh, skateboard bearings in there and this is just some steel that I turned down on the lathe. Alright let's get started. Now to make the uh, wheel part of the pulley I've got some uh, two inch steel chucked up in here and I've got it roughed out. It's some uh, scrap that I got from the scrapyard so I don't know what it is that I got the rusty crust off the outside and so what I'm going to do now is take a parting tool and start kind of marking these out so I'm going to uh, mark out the divisions of where I'm going to cut them I'm going to use roller skate bearings on the inside of them so and those are like uh, 275 thousandths wide so I'm going to mark those out and then I'm going to mark the start cutting the groove where the wire will lay I'm now just going to go along the length and I'm going to chamfer the outer edges barely and the inner edge is pretty good. Now I've got a little round nosed piece of high speed steel that I'm going to try to go in there and kind of round that bottom out with. Alright now I'm going to start boring out the inside. Start with the drill. I got the bore, I think, where I want it. I hope it's where I want it. And uh, now I'm going to part them off. Okay, I'm going to cut them off on the bandsaw. Alright, so I've got some aluminum taped in here to help protect these edges because they're so thin. I never did plan to finish these this way. All right, here's the finished pieces off the lathe. I'm pretty happy with them. And I'm gonna press in these bearings. And these are what they use for like roller blades. I think they go in uh, skateboards too. Or maybe, they, I don't know. They kind of have something like that. Yep. It's going to work great. I'm making five of these and so I've got ten straps clamped in the vise and I've got a piece of aluminum rod on one side to tighten them up and I'm going to drill them all at one time. Here's all the parts. Here's all the parts and I sandblasted the chain links and the little straps. So we're going to get one of these put together. Now I chose this uh, chain not because I needed something this heavy because something quite a bit lighter than this would have worked just fine. But it fills the gap in here that I need to fill. And so I use these chain links because I would have had to have uh, either bent this and tried to keep it you know perfectly straight or come back and drilled it later or welded a flat piece in here and then attached a hook somehow and this to me was just a lot quicker and easier and I actually I kind of like the looks of it so all right now I'm gonna get these welded This is a banner red Krylon.
All right, well, that's got them all put together. These are going to work great, I think, for uh, what I need them for. Look forward to uh, that project coming up. Uh, it's to uh, close the, uh, automatically close the barn doors in my barn. Anyway, I hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.